guys, I'm back. Melissa Henning here, Independent Sensei Consultant. I'm the future director of Team Yes I Can because it's not enough for me to say yes you can. You have to believe it for yourself. Yes I can. So I am back again, like I said I would be, to show you these beautiful new warmers that we just got into our new current catalog. Our new catalog is called Perspective. And if you would like a copy of this catalog or if you would like a digital link, um, I'll put that in the, um, I'll put the digital link in the, uh, uh, description below but if you would like an actual like one that you can hold and touch possibly smell um send uh give give me your address let me know and i will send it your way so i'm super excited because um we are in our new fall season with this beautiful catalog there's so many beautiful warmers in here and i was so fortunate enough to um, earn our summer incentive it was called go with the flow um it was a couple months and i ended up earning um four warmers um it, it's called the um home system i believe um nobody cares about that um i anyway i have all these new products and i just want to share it with you and i'm so excited that i am that i was fortunate enough to earn this that i can actually do this so um i've already shared a few pictures in my personal space if you are friends with me there um, I will share them here as well, um, but oh, I'm so excited. I don't even know where to start. I have so many of them. I don't even know where to start. So I think I'm going to start with um, this one. So this this warmer here, um, it's called, oh my goodness. Um, let me, I just totally brain farted the name of it. I'm sorry. Um, it is called oh, Bubbled Ultraviolet, I believe. Let me make sure. My God, isn't it funny how like when you get nervous, like you when you know things, but then when you get nervous, like you just can't remember the things that you want to remember. Um, aye, aye, aye. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Okay, it's called Bubble Ultraviolet, and it is so beautiful. So this is what it looks like in the catalog. You can see um, that it's got a very thin glass, and it's purple and iridescent, and it's beautiful. It's got a 25-watt light bulb. Um, it's uh, an amazing statement piece and when I saw it in the catalog I was like oh my gosh I have to see what that looks like in person so I'm so excited because look what I have right here look at how beautiful this warmer is so you can see it's kind of purple and iridescent this is the dish so on the dish it says that it um, you can see the number four in there that means uh, that this dish requires four um, bar four cubes of wax for optimal synthro um, but you don't have to do that if you don't want to. A lot of people use two cubes, that's fine. But if you're not smelling your fragrance, put in a couple more cubes if you're not if you're not smelling it and you're not at four. Don't put more in because you're going to overflow and then it's going to get all yucky. But wax is pretty easy to clean up, at least Scentsy Wax is. Um, but look at how beautiful this is. It's beautifully contoured. It's iridescent. Um, oh my gosh. Like I just, I can't even, like you can see, can you see how contoured it is? Like it's just... Um, they called it an organic shape, and it's just beautiful. And it is a um, glow light bulb. It's a glow warmer. Um, so it uses a light bulb. It uses a 25-watt light bulb. Like I had said, it is 6 and a half inches tall. And um, I'm going to go ahead and plug it in for you guys so you can see what it looks like. It's pretty bright. So it would be like a lamp warmer is what I would call it. Like, look at how beautiful that is. It's just it's so beautiful. It's super bright. I shouldn't say it's super bright, but it's a good nightlight warmer. Um, I have warmers throughout my house that I love because when, you know, I wake up in the middle of the night, like I, you know, when you get that feeling like, oh, did I lock the doors? And I come downstairs, I'm not tripping over things because I have my warmers on. And I leave my warmers on all the time because it's safe to do that. They use a very low wattage light bulb. They're very low wattage warmers, so they're not going to burn um, and they're not going to start fires. Um, and so, yeah, super excited. So this would be a good one to have like downstairs possibly um, oh, and it's made out of glass so yay I love that one it's so beautiful it's iridescent and it has like these bluish like you can see the blue oh, I just love it it's so pretty I love pretty things you guys sparkle is my favorite color and I love pretty things um, so the next warmer that I'm going to show you is called in the clouds I believe in the clouds yes and this one so I did a little reading up on this warmer beforehand because I just, I love how all of our warmers, look at how beautiful this is. Do you know how they made this? How they made this like pattern? They, um, I actually wrote it down right here. 
it is white glass beads that they melted and fused into they said a brown um like a clear brown glass um and it creates this like beautiful dreamy cloud pattern like look at how beautiful that is this is also a 25 watt light bulb um, this one's six and a half in inches tall and it also uses um four cubes of wax if you want um, i put four cubes of wax in all my warmers and i feel like um, it tends to make the wax, it, like I smell it longer, like I'm able to smell it for a couple of days as opposed to just like the day. When I put in two cubes, I don't smell it for very long. But then also we have um, something called an olfactory nerve and we get used to smells, so that could also be an issue if you're not smelling your stuff. But this is what it looks like turned on. So this one's beautiful also, it's fairly bright compared to some of our other warmers, but this would be like I mean, this could really go anywhere. I'm like, look at how beautiful and gorgeous this is. And I love that it's made with beads, like glass beads. That's so cool. I love that. I love that, um, you know, I just, I just love that they share that information with us. What else do we have going on over here? We have, um, so I got a couple of mini warmers also. So our mini warmers are our nightlight warmers and they um, plug in so they don't have a long cord the way that these other warmers do. They just plug straight into your wall. So it's like a nightlight. Um, and um, this one here, look, look at this. I think it's called, why are you, oh, what's it called? It's called why, I put the, gosh, it's called why are you blushing? I love like wordplay and puns and things like that. And so I am not clever. I always try to come up with fun stuff and I just can't. And so Sensi like just makes me smile and laugh because it's called why are you blushing? And it's like a blush rose gold wire. Ah. <laughs> and the inside here sounds like plastic and the dish here does not come off. Um, it is glass and um, it is a 15 watt light bulb. So for all of our, um, we have different types of um, bases for different types of warmers. So I'll show you the next warmer that we have. It's going to be a different um, base based off of the, um, like based off of like how heavy this is, the type of uh, material that it's made out of. Um, the other fun thing that, about this warmer is that you can actually push this button here and swivel it. So if your plug doesn't go in straight, like with the two prongs and then the one on the bottom, you can actually turn it to the side or you can turn it to the other side or you can even turn it upside down because I've seen some plugs in houses that were upside down. So that is pretty cool. And I really love that. Um, this is a 15 watt light bulb and I would put maybe two cubes of wax in there. You could probably put one. I have one of these little guys in my bathroom and I love it. Um, it's, it's small enough to go in a small room, so I get a good scent throw in the room. It fills up the room with fragrance, and um, I don't know, it's just beautiful. Like, look at how beautifully it's like, um, what did they say? That it is architectural wire, um, and it's a chic rose gold, and I just love it. It's beautiful. It's shiny, and it's pretty. I love pretty things. Um, this next one, I'm super excited. Like, I tore into the box for this specific warmer because pink and sparkly is my favorite color. I love purple and sparkly. I, let's face it, I like anything that's sparkly. Like, if I could wear those little girl dresses that had, like, right, like not rhinestones, but sequins all over the place, I totally would, you guys. Like, find me a designer that won't cost me, you know, thousands of dollars, and I will wear it. And so, anyway, I love this warmer. Look at how sparkly this warmer is. Oh, M G like oh my gosh this is oh like it's just oh um anything that sparkles I think sparkles are usually what cause my squirrel moments so when I'm doing a video and I like have a squirrel moment if I'm not it's like my little brain um it's usually something sparkly that I saw like maybe in the sky or um you know, just something that caught my eye in the backyard. It sparkles. Sparkles are my squirrels, and I love them so much. This is a rose gold um, glitter warmer, as you can see. It's got a different type of base. So this one has, this is a glass um, warmer, and um, you just basically, when you get it, there it's, it's a part. So there's this, and then you put it on the light bulb, which is a 15 watt light bulb. All of our mini warmers are always a 15 watt light bulb. And then um, the base, you can see the base here is much more wide than the other one. And um, the 
the base of this also toggles so you can um, press the toggle button and turn it and it's fun and so oh my gosh it's just so beautiful like it's it's super sparkly it's got all of these like um I don't even know what you would call them it's like it feels rough like it's like kind of pokey um but I don't know if you can see like you can see the texture in that but it's just it's beautiful and I love this one so much it's beautiful it's called um rose gold uh glitter I believe rose gold glitter <laughs> glitter rose gold and so this is beautiful and I have the links to all of these um warmers in the uh description if you want to see what they look like. So the next thing that I have is um, a fairly new system that we have and it's called the um, wall fan diffuser. And so if you are familiar with like our Sensi Go, our like newest little mini, um, like our little mini fans, it uses the same um, fragrance technology. So it uses our pods. And of course I didn't bring pods because I'm an idiot, so I'm sorry. Um, but this is basically what it looks like. It's so pretty and it's called swivel. Can you tell why? Because it's got like a little swivel. It's like a little ice cream cone swivel, right? And um, so this also, this also swivels. <laughs> um, you just turn the base. It's got like a little grip on it so you can grab it and then you can turn it. And it basically uses our scent pods. So the, the thing that goes on our mini fan diffuser and on our, um, like our wall fan diffusers that, that look almost just like this, um, our Sensi Goes, um, both the solid, the one that lights up and the one that does not light, light up, it uses the same um, fragrance technology. So the little pods. Man, I'm so disappointed that I didn't bring those to show you. Um, but basically you just pop two of them in there and um, each one of those little, uh, oh, uh, wrong way, each one of those little um, pods it comes in a two pack and they last for 120 hours each. But if you're using them both together, then obviously they're going to last for 120 hours. But um, I love them. And the super cool thing about this is normally our wall fan diffusers look just like this, but this one has a mini nightlight. And I don't have the prop, the plug that I have that I'm using doesn't have the three prong, so I can't show you what that looks like. But I'll take a picture of it and um, you, you can actually see it in a picture in the description below. Um, where I link to this too. And so it has a little like glowing light that goes right through there. And so it just sucks up the air and then it like pushes out the fragrance. And so super exciting. Um, and so kind of one of the other things that I got were some um, light bulbs. It seems super boring, but the super cool thing about these light bulbs is that this one says one purple 25 watt light bulb. We have purple light bulbs, you guys. I'm so excited about that. Like we had light bulbs before that were colored, um, but now we have purple. Like we had, um, let me see what colors we had before. I can't remember off the top of my head. We had, um, I believe we had red. I can't remember if we had blue or not. I know we had, um, I think we had red, yellow, and green. Um, and so anyway, yeah, yeah, I remember we had green because that was one of our um, Halloween warmers had a green light bulb. That was super exciting, but look. Like it's a purple light bulb. It's a 25 watt purple light bulb. So you can you can replace that. So here, I'm gonna take this um, in the clouds warmer and I'm gonna put in the purple light bulb to show you guys what it looks like. Because this is super exciting. You can change the look of almost any warmer. Just unscrew it, put in this one. This is going to be exciting to see what this looks like. Is it plugged in? Let's get the dish. So that's what it looks like with the bowl. Let's turn this puppy on. Oh, so the purple light bulb is like a black light. So you can barely see it, but I can feel the warmth of it. It's beautiful. You can barely see that. Can you see how it's on in there? Oh, it's still beautiful though. Oh, that's pretty exciting. And we have other colored light bulbs also, which is what's pretty exciting. Um, they sent me a purple one. They sent me a blue one. And then they sent me some mini ones. We haven't had mini light bulb, colored light bulb warmers before. Um, they sent orange, red, purple, and green. And so that is super exciting. 
Um, so the, uh, the very last thing that they sent me were 10 of our brand new fragrances. So every catalog season, we say goodbye to some of our um, current, cat like the current catalog. So we just got out of the summer, spring, and we had to say goodbye to some of those amazing fragrances. But if you are familiar with Club, then you know that you were able to get those. So I have a lot of those in like my favorites in my Scentsy Club. Um, and I know a lot of you do too. Um, so we got rid of those to make room for these new ones. And so when these ones go away, if you fall in love, you can add them to your club. Or if you just love them at, at all times, like throughout the um, catalog season, you can add them to your Scentsy Club for like a no hustle, like a no hassle, no hustle, no hassle type thing where um, you can just have them shipped to you whenever. Um, like one month, two months, three months. So I have 10 new bars here that I'm super excited to introduce you to. This one's called Slay All Day. And it is a part of our, um, I'm gonna open it up so I can tell you guys, cause my nose is so funny. I smell things like I was smelling, uh, I'll give you case in point. I was smelling one of these earlier before I got on and here we go. Is it this one? And I said, yeah, it was this one. So this one says that it has snow kiss mint juniper um, and to keep cool as they dash through the crisp mountain air. So when I smell this, I think that people that like jammy time would like this. It smells kind of floral, but like kind of wintry. Um, like I smell fur or I guess it must be the juniper, but I think that if you are, if you like our French lavender and you like, um, like the, um, essential oil kind of smells like the, like those smells, I think you would really like this lay all day. It's a good one. And then the other one, uh, another one that I have is called, um, I'll go to this one around the campfire. So, this one is pretty cool because when I think around the campfire, I think, oh, it's going to smell kind of smoky. And so it says, make some memories in the mountain air as, as notes of fresh fallen wood and smoky embers help set the scene. So I've heard people explain this as kind of like um, a campfire. And actually, yeah, this one smells very nice. I get a after note of almost like um, graham crackers, but I know that that's not in this. See, it's my nose. It's so weird. Um, but it's so amazing. And I also smell like, uh, I don't know, it's uh, bergamot or it's one of those fragrances that you that we find in like our man scents, um, our like a, a more masculine scents. And so this is nice. It's definitely um, smoky. And I, it smells um, warm in a way though. So it reminds me of I don't know, like maybe the way my dad smelled around the campfire when we were out camping, um, you know, after like a, not after like a day, not like where he was like, oh, go take a shower, but you know, just, it smells like a man. So not, not like a man, but you know what I'm saying, right? I hope so. It's a good one. It's called around the campfire. Um, another one. So a lot of our fall fragrances are um, like baked goods. And so last year, was it last year or the year before? Our catalog was about Huga, so it was like comfort. And that's what a lot of these fragrances like continue to be like throughout our fall and winter catalog season. And so this one's called Apples and Oats. And this one's, well, you know, I remember, like this is deja vu to me. It's just because I just talked about all of these in the whiff box that we just got. I'm like, why do I know this smell? Yeah, so this reminds me of... Um, there's this dessert in the um, buffet that we used to go to before COVID started um, at the Santa Fe here in Las Vegas that has this like apple crumble type thing. And this is what that smells like to me. It's got that like oaty, you know, like the topping, the like crunchy topping with the brown sugar and the oats. And then it has like the apple pie kind of filling on the inside. That's what this smells like to me. Um, or even like a apple oatmeal, like that's, so another good one is called um, Almond Croissant. Yeah, these were all in the whiff box. That's so exciting. This one smells, oh, it's so funny because before it smelled like uh, croissants to me or like a flaky bread, but now I'm kind of getting like a, my Drunken Scentsy Lady vibe going on. Like it smells like, I don't know, it smells like a drink that you could make with alcohol or a non-alcoholic drink that would be in um, the winter. I can smell vanilla. I smell like amaretto. So that must be the almonds. <laughs> yeah, I smell almonds. <laughs> 
and uh, it's a good one. Let's see, I've got five more. Dancing Sugar Plums. So this one's called Dancing Sugar Plums, and um, this one says, this one's one of our fruity ones. So if you are still loving your fruity, we have a bunch of fruity still left in our catalog, um, this current catalog, but we also got in a few of the fruity scents also, so that's pretty cool. This one says, Spiced Plum Falls Right in Step with Visions of Vanilla and Sweet Cinnamon Apple. So this one to me, I don't smell much of the cinnamon, but I do get a Christmas of the app, a crispness of the apple, and I do smell the plums. And I guess I smell like a little bit of a kick, so that must be the spice. So it's it's a great one. Um, breakfast in bed. So this is another good one. Um, and I'm not a huge uh, like fall scent person, honestly, but. Um, I really, really enjoy these. Like I can smell so many different notes in all of them. And it's not just like, you know, it's like, I feel like maybe I'm becoming like a fragrance connoisseur. Um, I can smell things where I think I couldn't have smelled them before. Maybe it's because I'm looking for them. I don't know. But breakfast in bed. So this is another cinnamon. I would have called this a cinnamon one before. But this one actually doesn't have much cinnamon in it. Um, according to my nose, but it I can smell more fruity. So I smell, it says, um, it smells like a pastry to me. So it says, wake up to warm pumpkin pastry filled with black raspberry and topped with sweet cinnamon drizzle. So I get that. It smells sweet. Um, I, I'm not sure if I pick up the pumpkin, but I don't know if I've ever been able to really recognize pumpkin, like actual true pumpkin smell and things outside of like, you know, the artificial pumpkin. Because when you smell like a real pumpkin, it smells like that, right? <laughs> you know, when you're scooping out the goop, that's not what I, that's what I think of when I think of pumpkin. Um, like is, I don't know. I'm rambling. I'm sorry, guys. So this is a good one. I like this one a lot. And I'm actually doing a... Um, a scent box around this fragrance. So if you are interested in a surprise box outside of our whiff box, let me know and I'll hook you up with um, my scent box. I'm super excited about it. I just started doing them and um, I think you would like it too. Okay, so this next one is called Just For You. And based off of the name, I'm thinking it's gonna be um, probably one of those like Christmassy scents, right? It's going to smell like a Christmas tree is what I'm thinking. And it says wild black, ooh, berries are in it. It says wild blackberry offers its one of a kind sweetness uh, to a forest of firm balsam and pine needles. So that's kind of what I was thinking. Oh, and you know what? This is so cool. This, I definitely do smell the pine, but there's definitely this like fruitiness to it, which is super kind of neat. I have this like weird shadow on my face. Like, am I breaking out? Sorry, TMI. Now my bangs are parted funny. This is a good one. So if you like Christmas, and you know, it might be too early to talk about Christmas, but some people love their Christmas fragrances all year long. And if you do, then this is for you because this is great. It's called Just For You, and I do definitely smell those wild berries, and I smell the pine needles. Um, I don't know what fir balsam smells like, but... Maybe that's part of what I'm smelling with those fur needles. So there's two more left, and I'm going to save the very last one, which is my favorite. So this next one is maybe my second favorite. It's called Autumn Road Trip, and I've heard a lot of buzz around this because people either love it or hate it. And when I read the description, I thought I'm not going to like that because it is, um, I don't know, just Autumn Road Trip. It just sounds like an autumn scent, right? <laughs> and I'm not a huge fan of the cinnamon, but... So I just automatically assumed, like, don't judge a book by its cover, right? <laughs> don't judge a wax bar by its cover. Um, so, and there's like little leaves and pump, like apples on it, I guess. So it says, take a tour through crisp harvest apple, just picked Anjou pear, and a force of towering silver oak. So, wow, like I wouldn't expect that. But, oh, wow, that was really good, you guys. I was still in my brain thinking cinnamon, and I just took a whiff, and it's not. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. I like this one a lot. And when you rub, so what you see me do is that I'm rubbing my finger on the wax because it kind of release, it releases the fragrance oils and it kind of gives you a truer like scent experience as opposed to um, just when you pull it out of the clamshell. And so it kind of changes things up. And so, OMG, it smells so nice. It smells um, very like fruity, but 
um, there's a kick in it that I can't figure out what the smell is. Um, it's not like smoky. It's not um, like a green scent. It's not like woody. Maybe it is woody. Yeah. Anyway, I smell more of the fruit than I do anything else in it. So I really like that. So the very, very last one, which is my favorite. And you all should check it out because love it so much and it's still perfect for um like what's going on i keep looking outside my my backyard is right over the screen there and it's like 103 here today so thinking about fall fragrances is not my my cup of tea um and so this wax right here i think is my favorite so far um out of the new fragrances that came out they're all pretty great this one is called cloudberry dreams and it's purple it's like a I love the color, so like, I don't know, I just, I'm so weird. I judge, I, I shouldn't judge based off of the, like, don't judge a book off the cover. I just said that, but I still do. Um, so it says, oh, I'm so excited. It says, sweet raspberry and a whisper of rose soars through billowy bursts of peach and vanilla. So, you guys, this is a fruity one. Oh, and it's so nice. It smells very fruity, but I get like a, um, there's this like something that our cozy cardigan has that is just kind of a comfort. I don't know what it, it is. It's almost like a lavender, but not. This one smells, oh, I definitely get the rose. I think that's what I'm getting. I smell rose. I smell sweetness. I smell fruit. I smell a little bit of the vanilla, um, but this is a nice one, you guys. So um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed our newest warmers, our newest additions to this catalog. Um, if you'd like any more information, I dropped in a couple of links in the description below, but please feel free to reach out and ask me any questions that you may have. Um, we're in another incentive period, so um, we're earning a family trip to Disney World, and you can totally do this too. These trips are doable. They are tough because let's face it, doing what we do is not like going to a nine to five job where you walk in there, you have a boss and your boss tells you what to do. Like I'm my own boss. I have to tell myself what to do. And if I don't do it, then I don't get paid. And so that is where, um, like earning the incentives is hard because I have to do the things and nobody is there telling me to do it. So I just have to do it. And so if you feel like you could, um, benefit from, going to Disney World with your family, um, give me a shout out and I will give you some information. Um, we have a couple of different ways to join and there are no obligations. And I think for me at this point in the game of being with Sensi now for um, over three years, I think the friendships and just the culture of Sensi means more to me than anything. I started with the wax and warmers and I love the wax and warmers still, don't get me wrong, but the, I stay in because of the community. They're generous and they're loving, like everybody that I've ever met with Sensi, they're loving and they're generous and like you just can't ask for better friends. And so if you need some of that positivity in your life, please give me a shout out and um, I will hook you up. We have some good people um, that I would love to introduce you to. Uh, I hope you all have a great weekend and I will see you guys later.